Pablo Neruda, the poet of love, politics, and the human condition. Pablo Neruda, born Neftali Ricardo Reyes Basalto on July 12, 1904, in Peral, Chile, was one of the most celebrated and prolific poets of the 20th century. His poetry, characterized by its lyrical beauty and passionate engagement with the human experience, transcended borders and languages, making him a global literary icon. This comprehensive biography delves into the life, work, and enduring legacy of Pablo Neruda, spanning approximately 1,500 words. Early Life and Education Pablo Neruda's early years were marked by a deep connection to nature and a fascination with literature. Raised in Temeca, a city in southern Chile, he grew up surrounded by the stunning landscapes of the Andes and the Pacific Ocean. These natural surroundings would later influence his poetry, infusing it with vivid descriptions of the Chilean landscape. Neruda's love for poetry began at a young age, and by the time he was 10, he had already started writing his own verses. His education was marked by both academic achievement and personal tragedy. He lost his mother to tuberculosis when he was just 13, a devastating event that would shape his poetry and emotional landscape. Early Poetry and Adoption of a Pseudonym In his teenage years, Neruda adopted his now-famous pseudonym, inspired by the Czech poet Jan Neruda. This choice allowed him to continue his literary pursuits discreetly, as his father disapproved of his son's poetic ambitions. Neruda's first collection of poems, Crepusculario, was published in 1923 when he was only 19 years old. This marked the beginning of his literary journey. The Influence of Chilean Landscapes Neruda's poetry was deeply rooted in the landscapes and people of Chile. His poems captured the beauty of the country's diverse terrain, from the arid deserts of the north to the lush forests of the south. He celebrated the ordinary people of Chile, the farmers, miners, and fishermen, whose lives and struggles became central themes in his work. Experiences Abroad Neruda's early career as a diplomat took him to various countries, including Burma, Sri Lanka, and Spain. His international experiences exposed him to diverse cultures and political ideologies, influencing his poetry and worldview. During his time in Spain, he witnessed the rise of fascism and the Spanish Civil War, events that had a profound impact on his political consciousness. 20 Love Poems and a Song of Despair in 1924, Neruda published, 20 Love Poems and a Song of Despair, Vinta Poemas de Amor y una Canción Desesperada, a collection that catapulted him to literary fame. These sensual and passionate poems explored themes of love, desire, and longing. The collection resonated with readers worldwide and remains one of Neruda's most celebrated works. Political Activism and Communism Neruda's experiences in Spain, where he witnessed the brutal suppression of the Spanish Republic by Francisco Franco's forces, deepened his political convictions. He became an ardent supporter of communism and aligned himself with leftist movements in Latin America and beyond. His poetry increasingly reflected his political beliefs, and he used his words to advocate for social justice and the rights of the working class. Exile and Canto General as political tensions rose in Chile, Neruda's involvement in left-wing politics drew the ire of conservative forces. In 1948, following a change in government, Neruda went into hiding to escape persecution. During this period of exile, he embarked on a journey through Latin America that inspired his epic work, Canto General. Canto General, published in 1950, is a monumental collection of poems that explores the history, landscapes, and people of the Americas. It is a sprawling epic that spans centuries and continents, celebrating the indigenous cultures of the Americas and decrying the oppression and injustices inflicted upon them. Nobel Prize in Literature In 1971, Pablo Neruda was awarded the Nobel Prize in Literature, becoming the first Chilean and Latin American to receive the prestigious honor. The Nobel Committee praised his poetry that with the action of an elemental force brings alive a continent's destiny and dreams.
return to Chile and political engagement. Neruda returned to Chile in 1952 after years of exile, but his political involvement continued. He served as a senator for the Chilean Communist Party and continued to write poetry that confronted social and political issues. His poetry was a powerful force in shaping public opinion and advocating for change. Pablo Neruda's life was marked by a deep commitment to his art and his political beliefs.